Today, I'm going to talk about 11 ways to tell if you have self-love. Hi, I'm Nanette. Welcome back to Narcissism Exposed. So, we're not talking about, you know, this selfish fulfillment type of thing or selfishness or being conceited and only concerned about yourself and disregarding everyone else. That's not what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about key factors that are really important to consider to understand whether or not you are having self-love for yourself and why is self-love important? It's important because it helps you to understand why it's important to build very strong boundaries in your life because you care about yourself, you care about your heart, your your life, your values, and that also helps for others to understand that you are a person of self-worth and that you're going to maintain not just the values but your peace as well. And this is a very important thing for each of us to learn how to do. So this list, and it's not exclusive, but there's the majority of factors here to tell if you're engaging in self-love. And look, if you're not, if you find one of these is where you're lacking, that's one area for you to grow in. Because every day, each of us should wake up thinking, how can I be a better version of myself today? So I'm going to do this a little differently today. So um, I'm going to actually put some like peaceful scenes on so that you can hear the list that I have and just kind of get peaceful and thoughtful about what I'm sharing with you. So here we go. Number one, you take ownership for you and don't blame others for how you feel or how you are doing. You recognize that your life is a product of everything you do, including how you respond to circumstances that are out of your control. Number two, you have self-appreciation. You don't have to excuse who you are or apologize for who you are or explain yourself. Number three, you have standards for yourself and practice self-regulation. You recognize that you have emotions and moods, but you are able to control them, address them, and learn from them. Number four, you can appreciate others' accomplishments. You've worked on your own life with an honest and determined approach, and so you know how much time and effort goes into that, so you in turn can appreciate when others around you have accomplished something as well. Number five, when you make a mistake or run into a problem with one of your choices or decisions, you use that as an opportunity for growth. In other words, you own your mistake, become proactive, and you don't fall into the trap of self-pity or self-humiliation. Number six, you don't need to promote yourself. You don't need to show off or flaunt yourself for attention. It's okay to share about yourself, but to attract undue attention, you realize that is unnecessary. Number seven, you don't need to force your agenda on other people. You recognize your uniqueness and you are okay with it. You don't need to prove to everyone who you are and what you stand for and have everyone come on board with you. Number eight, you have self-respect and keep honest with yourself. You practice all of the core values you value and you are assured in what you stand for. Number nine, you exude gratitude. You don't take people, things, or experiences for granted. You give credit for all the people who have helped you, blessed you, encouraged you and taught you. You have a thankful heart and you show appreciation. Number 10, you're content to be alone with yourself. Why? Because you recognize that you have come a long way and have put the work into yourself. You have standards, goals, and visions, and you are happy to be in your own presence in a fulfilling way. And number 11, 
you recognize how much God Almighty and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ love you and you know how truly blessed you are. You need no other external validations from anyone because you are a loving child of the Most High God. So, how many of those did you do a mental check mark for? And if you have others, jot them down below. Share, share, share. And if you have any prayer requests, please leave those down below. Know that I love you and pray for you daily. Now, if you found that helpful, do hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, do hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. And until next time, walk in peace and be blessed in your hearts.